It's really been a pretty busy day. There's been a lot going on and I've done a lot of things today. I kind of, I've been here basically, I guess all by myself for, this, for most of this day. There hasn't been anybody else here in the building, here at the church. Just been me. And, gosh, I wonder all this time where, where God has been while I've been here. Let me think about my day. Well, time to get everything set up for worship on Sunday. But you know, before I do that, I think it would be a good idea to take a couple of minutes and start all this with a prayer. So, God, thank you for this opportunity to prepare your house of worship for your people who gather here for worship tomorrow morning. Thank you for giving us a chance to give thanks and praise to your name, to see one another and join with each other in that praise, to be together as the family of your son, Jesus Christ. I love you. And thank you for the opportunity to serve. Grant your joy to your people today and always. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, well, let's get to work. Well, this has to be one of my favorite things, shovel and snow. Not, I do not like shoveling snow. I wish, I wish snow could shovel itself. That would be so much easier. If the snow would just shovel itself after it fell, then I don't think I'd mind snow so much. But it's just not the way it works. It's tiring, it's cold, it's snow, but gosh. Even though well, the shovel is not so much fun. It's nice and sunny out here. That sunshine really does help keep me warm. The temperature's not too warm, but that sunshine, boy, that makes it feel good out here. That's pretty nice. Well, let's get the shoveling done. Boy, that was a lot of work. Getting some of the snow shoveled. Wow. I'm not such a big fan of snow anymore, at least not since I have to shovel. I think when I was a kid it was more fun, but... Well, that's all right. Job is done, but boy. I could use just a little snack, just a little something. Oh my goodness. There's a piece of candy sitting here. Oh, hot dog. It's a piece of peppermint bark. I wonder if that came from a dog or a tree. I don't know, but that sounds good. Sounds like that would be a great little snack. That would really give me a little more energy to continue on because I've got plenty of work to do. Well, I'm really glad that was here. I'm really glad I got to have that. On to the next thing. You know, when I think about it, I know where God was the whole time. God was with me. That whole time, God watched over me provided for me, and I think most of all, maybe most importantly, God showed me his love. All those different times, I didn't even think about it. God was showing me his love and had a piece of candy there that kind of gave me a little more energy for doing some more things, or God showing his love to me being outside, and even though that was hard work, and I think kind of shoveling snow is not a lot of fun, at least as far as I'm concerned, what a beautiful world God has made. And I know that that snow will melt one day and that'll be the water that nourishes the plants and the, the animals and provides us water to drink. So it's good that we have that snow. God provides the beautiful sunshine and all those great gifts. And even being in the sanctuary, being in the church, of course, I always think about God being there with me and with us when we're in the church. 
And God is, of course. But even then, God is speaking to us. God is telling us how much he loves us. God speaks to me and tells me how much he loves me. And what a great gift that is. Boy, it's been a pretty good day. Actually, it's been a great and awesome day. Because God has been with me. And I know something about your day as well. I know that God is with you. And throughout your day, even in the midst of maybe shoveling snow or being hungry or facing challenges or celebrating and having a good time, in all those moments, I know there's something that God is saying to you. And he says it every day throughout the day. And that is, I love you. Remember that. Right now, right now God's using me as his voice to say to you, I love you.